and welcome to Kids Corner this week. Over the last few weeks we've been hearing stories from the Old Testament part of the Bible, the first part of the Bible which tells us about the time before Jesus was born. I wonder if you can recognise any of the stories from the picture. We heard about the very beginning when God made the world and how we should take care of God's wonderful world. Then we heard about Adam and Eve, the first people, and the story told us about when they listened to the sneaky snake telling them not to listen to God and how that made God and them sad. And we learned that we should listen to the people who love us and not to people who are like the sneaky snake and try to persuade us to do wrong things. We heard about Abraham and Sarah going on a long journey, about God's promises to them that they would have a great family. God took care of them like he takes care of us. They had a baby called Isaac, and Isaac was the great, 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 lots of greats granddad of Jesus. Isaac and his wife Rebecca had a baby called Jacob. When Jacob was grown up, he had a dream which reminded him that God was with him. And we learn that God is always with us too. Jacob married Rachel and they had a baby called Joseph. And next we heard all about Joseph's adventures and how the family came to live in Egypt. And then we heard about what happened to the family who grew into the Israelite people, how they were badly treated in Egypt and about how God rescued them and how Mo Moses was God's worker. There are lots of very interesting and exciting stories in the Old Testament and the New Testament and you might have seen an extra story that I didn't mention in our picture. I didn't mention it because we had that story quite a long time ago, but I think it's quite a well-known one. I wonder if you guessed. The Bible is a big, giant book full of stories of God's care and love. And the biggest story of all is the story of Jesus coming to live in our world. Jesus came because God was sad about all the bad things in the world. And so Jesus came to show us how to put things right. We're going to hear from the New Testament for the next few weeks. That's the second part of the Bible about Jesus and his teaching. And it all began at the first Christmas when he came as a little baby. When he was grown up, he began his work of putting God's world and its people back together again. All because... God loves us so much. So that's for the next few weeks and I hope you will watch to hear the exciting stories. But for now, let's hear our song about how great our God is. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole wide world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got you and me, sister, in his hand. He's got you and me, sister, in his hand. He's got you in his hand he's got the whole world in his hand he's got the little tiny baby in his hand he's got the little tiny baby in his hand he's got the little tiny baby in his hand he's got the whole world in his hand he's got the whole the whole world. In his hand, he's got the whole wide world. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand.
God is very great. He made our world and he loves and cares for us. It's a very special thing that we can talk to him when we pray. So let's talk to him now. Thank you, God, that you care so much for us. And thank you that we can talk to you. Please help us to care for your world and the people in it. Please show us how we can be kind and helpful. Amen. And thank you for watching today. I hope you will watch next week when we shall start learning about the New Testament and some of the things that we can learn about Jesus. So bye bye and God bless.